So I'm currently running a uh, role player adventure game for my family, uh, and I'm the game master. Um, and as I was sitting here studying and reading ahead and trying to make sure that I understood the rules and what's happening next to me adventure, it reminded me of a conversation I had earlier today with a group of coaches and scrum masters. And um, I encouraged them to do something that is a little unfair to ask of people, but absolutely necessary when you are in a leadership role as all scrum masters and coaches and change agents are, as well as managers and tech leads and architects and distinguished engineers and um, whatever leadership role you're in. And the unfair ask is that you must be ahead of the organization. So what I'm doing right now is reading ahead in the adventure. And I'm not reading this entire book. Uh, it's a whole pile of stuff that I am not quite ready to finish yet. It's a, it's a game I've never played before, so I'm still picking up the rules. But I am reading about one adventure ahead of my family. And I'm making sure I understand what's going to happen and that I've prepped for it and that I know where we're going and what the rules are next. And I'm ready for um, them to maybe do some unexpected things and that I'm prepared. And that is what we must do as leaders, is be just ahead of the organization. And why that's a little unfair is because, um, especially for organizations like the one I'm in that are in the midst of transformation, everyone is new at their jobs, including those of us in leadership roles. And that means we need to double down on our learning because our job is to outlearn those that we want to follow us, at least by a little bit. And that means studying, practicing, reading, uh, finding ways to uh, to gain experience as fast as you can so that you can go and be worthy of being followed. This is a big deal. Uh, leadership is something that you must earn. It is not something that is just given to you. And our job is to outlearn those that we want to follow us. So what do you need to do? You need to read, you need to practice, you need to study. And that might fit into the 40 hours a week that you are asked to work and that might not. So um, I have a friend that I respect very much who used to say that if you want to be great, you're going to have to put in more than the 40 hours. And that bothered me because I'm a big advocate for uh, work-life balance and making sure we're not asking a ton of people. And um, I think I've come around to believing that 99% of us, that is true for, uh, true for that your, your 40 hours is your job, um, you should not have to give any more than that to get a fair wage, to get good benefits, to be able to care for your family, to have a rewarding experience and to have a job that you are proud and uh, uh, to do and consider rewarding to, to achieve. However, I'm speaking to the smaller percentage of you that want to lead. And if you want to lead, there's more of you that you need to give. And there's more energy you need to give, more commitment you need to give. And even though that's unfair to ask, uh, you need to be wor worthy of being followed. So that means studying ahead in your, uh, your dungeon master guide. That means figuring out how to really earn it. And uh, I hope there are others out there that are, are learning ahead. And if you're not, I hope you can find time and space and a way to do it. I hope you can find a way to watch TED Talks while you nurse your baby. I hope you can find a way to uh, listen to a podcast while you're on a run, to uh, practice with your family, uh, as I often have, running facilitation and games and things that you might teach people. I hope you can find a way to make what you do um, and, and what you learn part of your life so that you can earn this. Because being worthy of being followed is a huge deal. And uh, putting other people's careers and futures in your hand is not something you should take lightly.